I might need that. Hi there. So I think I have something to ask. Jim, go stand over by the bike workstation. Wait, I don't get to work on cars? Cars are for seniors. You gotta walk before you can run, boyo. All right, you're getting somewhere now. Good work, Hopkins. Okay, see you next time, Jim. I rule! My work here is done. You're in the wrong part of town, rich boy. School rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh, You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Uh -huh. I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A uh, parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? I'm just under a lot of pressure. Uh. Well, I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sacked. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do. The head will find out about this. You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk, and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic! Oh, I'm a washed-up old drunk, and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet, but nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods! Give me that. Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. around everywhere.
serious allegations, Mr. Hattrick. You'll see. We won't get away with it this time. I hope you're wrong for the sake of Bulwark. That child had a bottle! You think I'm scared of you? Trouble for a couple minutes. You. Don't make me come after you. I wonder if the market was still out of reach. Can you give me some TP? It's a bit of an emergency. Sounds stupid. Okay. Rules are quite clear on this subject. It looks like Hattrick and Galloway are at it again. I tell you, he's a drunk. Call me. 
That's all of them. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome, Miss. Please take this. There we go. Done. performance anxiety. <laughs> Get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Worn In. I've had these on since last term. Ha ha ha! Well, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Find a use for that. Sit here in the chair. Come back anytime. 
This looks useful. You better not be shoplifted. Um, you better use that meat soon. The clerk said it expires at midnight. Nonsense! There are no fuzzy eaters at Bullworth! It'll last for a month! All right! <laughs> Hey, Beatrice, what's wrong? Two things. Firstly, my cold sores are totally acting up what? again. What? Ew, gross. Secondly, Mr. Hatrick saw me writing in my diary during class, and he took it and he locked it in his desk. And he says he's going to give it to the principal tomorrow. If anyone sees what's in there, I will just die. It's really personal. Yeah, well, nothing like having the whole school know your deepest secrets. Makes your teenage years go by in a flash. Yeah, well, you'll soon find out. Me? Why? In the diary, I talk a lot about you and me. What? There is no you and me. Yeah, yeah, there is. See, first you rescued my notes from Mandy, and then we fell in love, and oh, you brought me flowers, what? and wrote me poetry, and showed this kinder, sensitive side that soon the whole world is going to know about. We're like... Doomed lovers. Enough. Okay, I'll get your book back. Then we can kiss. The cold sores aren't contagious once they start to scab over. People leave stuff lying around everywhere. I'll be Mine now.
the carbonation. I did, and I didn't read it. Much. Much obliged. That was exactly as I'd expected. Done and done right. things. Fatty has arrived. I gotta go. My butt is different. Greetings and salutations. I think I'll keep this. of thieving jerks. What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. Mm. Jimmy, listen. Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught. Role-playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, Upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight, whomsoever recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. What? I mean ten bucks. Wait here. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great.
All right, you've got something of Melvin's. Give it up. All right, I'll give it to you if you beat my friend in a little game. He kicks you in the nuts, and you kick him in the nuts until one of you gives up. If you win, you get the sheep. If not, we keep it. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. Is way too full of himself. I told you I'd bring you down. Good day, everyone. I'm Mr. Matthews, your geography teacher. I know you're all enthusiastic and ready to learn. Otherwise, why would you be here? Hmm, a fair guess, but I'm afraid it's wrong. No, I'm sorry that it is incorrect. Try again. Heavens! Whatever gave you that idea? Try again. Try again. Try again. Try again. Try again. You've charted a fine course for yourself, son. Bravo! Those Did you see that? That's it? Ted Thompson called me his little buddy. Watch 
You've got something of Melvin's. Give it up. All right, I'll give it to you if you beat my friend in a little game. He kicks you in the nuts, you kick him in the nuts, until one of you gives up. If you win, you get the sheep. If not, we keep it. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. <laughs> That's some funny stuff right there. I, I am not good. Okay, you win. What have we here? Let's get out of here. This piece of paper I've ever... I hope everyone's ready to learn something. This isn't English class, you know.
Wrong. Attention! You're not even trying, are you? That's enough for today. Good work. Oh, yeah! And done. Jimmy, buddy! Hey, Jimmy! How fast can you stuff losers into lockers? I like you, Jimmy, but I probably shouldn't. Like my shoes, they're genuine coffee. Oh. We want blood. Hopkins, you're pathetic. this to my advantage. It's a 
wonder Hopkins is still standing. I love watching a good match. There's another round after this. That's the best you can do. Fifty dollars says that Hopkins is going to bite it. That's the best you can do. That's the best you can do. Hopkins is still standing. It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing. That's the best you can do! It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing. No wonder Hopkins is still standing. I still think Hopkins will lose. Move like a bee, sting like a, a bee. That's the best you can do. It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing. Sorted. Wonder Hopkins is still standing. That's the best you can do. That's the best you can do. That's the best you can do. Move like a bee, sting like a, a bee. Move like a bee, sting like a, a bee. That's the best you can do. That's the best you can do. It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing. That's the best you can do. It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing. That's the best you can do! Give it to him! Come on! Glad that's All the... right, I won! Give me my prize! Hmm, there's a little problem. Your parents have to be members of the board for you to be eligible. Tell you what, old chap. We'll give you that old abandoned beach house. Should be nice once you clean it up. Hopkins comes through. At night. You're pathetic, you know that? There's you no know we can't associate with you until you wear some proper clothes, huh? Captain Finn.
Hey, Jimmy Hopkins. Do I know you? No, I'm Pinky, but I know all about you. Everybody's talking about you. Everybody says that you're mean and angry and you like fighting. Huh. Gary said you're so mad because you're sexually confused. Yeah, well, Gary talks a lot of crap. Oh, I know. I don't like him. He likes to torture people. So what? He's not going to torture me. Well, I'm glad you're not sexually confused. Really? Yeah, I like you, Jimmy Hopkins. Oh, yeah? But I need you to do something for me. What a surprise. I'm last in line, and this movie means everything to me. I'm gonna get terrible seats. Can you please get rid of all these people for me? Please, Jimmy. What's in it for me? I'm a princess! Oh. And I need people to do things for me. So hurry up, because I want to be first! Oh, man. All right. See why Darby doesn't want to ally with the Why jocks. doesn't mom divorce the fuck? Oh, because dad has no money die. anyway. You're not walking by. Get that. It's just not fair. I don't see why something like this should happen. I'll hang on to that. Maybe I can get Mandy alone later. Are you all right? I hope you like them. Thanks a bunch, Jimmy. My life I is completely just like me. I swear she's trying to look right just now? like me. How I've got to work out later. That? So it seems like all of these disgusting. teachers are more interested in their love affairs than teaching us. This might be useful. I'll remember this forever. I swear she's trying to look just like me. <laughs> I just want to play sports, that's all. <laughs> that's great, Jimmy. If only you'd been born into my social circle. Well, I do have a few uses, you know. Oh, really? Well, you know, nice girls like nice flowers. Anyway, here's some money. It's the least I could do. And it's daddy's anyways. The show's about to start, but come see me sometime. We can work through these class issues we have. Oh, I'll work through your class issues all right, sweetie. Another good deed done. I get no respect. All that matters is once you retire, how much you need to have a poor desperate fellow out. I used to have crabs in my bathtub. I locked my car. Well, not me. What are you talking about? We had a date, and you are three minutes late. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we really didn't. But look, I remembered how much you liked flowers. Oh, damn. That wasn't you. That was Darby. Well, he's late. I cannot believe he's done this to me. Oh, and those are so beautiful. Three minutes. What does he think I am? A tramp? Ugh. I hope something important happened. Like he's dead. 
because otherwise there's no excuse. Did you say you're waiting for Darby? Yes. I don't really like him, but he's my cousin and our family wants us to get married. You know, keep up the tradition. Wait, marry your cousin? You know, it used to be brother and sister until it was made illegal. My aunt has four thumbs. Really? Yeah, well, I'm not marrying him now. He's humiliated me. So, uh, what do you say you and I go out and leave Darby to another cousin? Great. You know, I'll meet you at the carnival tonight. Jimmy, I'm really starting to like you. Crazy chick. Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're on time, unlike some of my other dates. What are we waiting for? Let's go have some fun. Hey, wait up! You'll win me a teddy bear, won't you, Jimmy? I'm easily swayed by your presence.
Jimmy. Is there something I can do to help? Smash them! Smash them all! Old Bullwoodville's full of them! Please, I'll even pay you! Just make it stop hurting! Jimmy comes through again! Do the job. stuff into Edna's pot. Just what I was looking for. Hello. You know you should try the new Aquaberry vest. Very popular with the better class of students. Thank you. And do please stop by again soon. I'm just gonna collect this.
How's it going, buddy?